Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a tortoise diet video and the tortoise diet varies from species to species but my tortoise is a Herman tortoise which is Mediterranean so I'm going to be looking at Mediterranean tortoises diets so this isn't going to be much help if you've got a tropical tortoise or anything like that but um, this video has been requested for a long time so I thought I'd finally get around to doing it so ideally you want their diet to be as close as you can to what their diet would be like in the wild throughout this video I'll probably keep pointing you back to the Tortoise Trust website which is really really good because it's um, a non-profit organisation so their information is reliable because they're not just trying to sell you things which um, you tend to get quite a lot on the internet people will um, give you loads of information on tortoises but it's normally because they're trying to get you to buy their products so basically their website is really really good it's got all the information on their diet and their housing and all different species as well so a lot of this information came from there and a lot of it's um, some other research I've done basically since having Sheldon but back to the diet anyway um, you want to get as much variety as possible in their diet because um, in the wild they'll they'd wander over a large area and they'd take small amounts of food um, over a wide area so they'd have a huge variety so um, and tortoises also come from areas where the soil is rich in calcium and um, they get loads of sun which enables the tortoise to make vitamin D which they need to um, use the calcium that they eat so calcium is really important especially for young tortoises because they're still growing and to try and recreate their natural habitat they should be provided with heat and UV lights and they should also be given high quality phosphorus free calcium and vitamin D3 supplements at least two times a week but I tend to give Sheldon a little bit more often because he's still quite young he's only just turned three so he's still juvenile and he's still growing so heat lamps are also really important because Tortoises absorb heat through their shells and they use it to digest their food. So without the heat they won't be able to digest their food properly. Which is also why um, you shouldn't ever put anything on your tortoise's shell. Because it's a living, living tissue basically and they need it to absorb the heat. And if they can't do that, if they can't digest their food properly, it can rot in their tummies. And it can make them really, really poorly. So tortoises are herbivores and in the wild eat grasses, leaves, flowers and really occasionally maybe a fallen berry although um, it shouldn't really be considered part of their diet because it can cause tummy upsets and diarrhoea which can lead to dehydration so if you do want to feed your tortoises fruit um, you can feed them really really occasionally a tiny amount but preferably not at all really because it's not really considered um, part of their diet so the diet also wants to be low in protein because um, too much protein can cause shell deformities and bladder stones which means um, they shouldn't be eating pulses like peas or beans because they're too high in protein and it also inhibits calcium uptake um, you also want to avoid root vegetables something else you want to avoid really if you possibly can is any complete tortoise diets because they're too low in calcium and too high in protein and sugar and they're not a natural diet so I know in a lot of pet shops you can get complete tortoise diets um, in kind of pellet form which you soak um, in water or you can feed it to them dry but if, if you can it should really be avoided also supermarket greens um, can be fed in small amounts but things like romaine lettuce and kale but they don't really have high enough fiber and they can also have pesticide residue and too much sugar so it doesn't make an ideal diet but um, if you can't find weeds or anything like that it can kind of be used occasionally so tortoises get most of their moisture from plants but they should be soaked in shallow water for 10 minutes a couple of times a week because in the wild they'll drink from and soak in puddles so they should always have access to fresh water and also if they get too hot under their light then they can cool down quickly 
by jumping in the water. Um, but it should be shallow because tortoises can't swim. So, um, But I'm sure I'll put a bathing video up soon of Sheldon. So you can see how to soak a tortoise and also if their shell's dirty how to clean it. So just to recap, overall their diet should be high in fibre, high in calcium, they should have a variety of fresh edible weeds, they should have a low fruit content, low protein and no animal matter of any kind because Mediterranean tortoises are herbivores. So you can also provide them cuttlefish in addition to calcium supplements because they can get some calcium from the cuttlefish and it can also be used to keep their beak kind of trim so it doesn't get overgrown. And um, my tortoise's diet is mainly made up of fresh weeds that um, when the weather gets a little bit rubbish I grow it in pots on my windowsill but at the moment I've just got a garden so this is great because there's loads of weeds growing in my garden because I'm not a very good gardener <laughs> and you can also buy seeds from them and if you're as bad as gardening as me then you can also buy plugs which are um, seeds that have been grown into little plants so then you can just plant those little plants so um, I'll leave a link to the Shadow Warriors website because I've bought some seeds from them before and the lady's really really nice as well and can help you out if you ask her um, what would be best for your tortoise. I thought I'd just do a little bit on myths as well because I've heard loads and loads of myths about tortoise diets and I just want to clear these up. Um, I've heard that they can eat dog or cat food, canned or dry, which they can't. I've heard that they can eat bananas and sandwiches and loads and loads of random things but just because they eat it, it doesn't mean it's good for them. Bananas aren't good because they'll give them tummy upsets and they're too high in sugar and realistically I don't think you'd find a can of cat food or a jam sandwich in their natural habitat so you do really need to be careful what you feed them and they will be around for a very long time. Thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Hop along to our Facebook page so you can keep up to date as we post competitions where you can win loads of prizes for your pets. See you soon!